It is now time for a new series called... The Great Escape! Yes, we're going to be escaping! 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 Escape! Escape! It's time for the Elkid Show? Escape! Yeah, it's time. Let's start the show. to the Elkid Show. My name is Pastor Evilani. And I'm Pastor Emilio. Yep, that's him. And we are excited to be kicking off a new series called... The Great Escape. 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 Great Escape. Yes, The Great Escape. And we will be diving into the life of Moses and how he was part of the greatest escape in all of history. Well, and Moses, he was a really famous guy. In fact, he was a great hero in the Bible. And there's so much to learn from his story. Uh, yeah, definitely. The story of Moses takes place in ancient Egypt, where God's people are being held as slaves to Pharaoh. It's rough. Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Pharaoh. But he was not a cool dude. I mean, but did Moses walk like an Egyptian? Oh, wait. No, wait. Moses wasn't an Egyptian. No, 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 no. You know, he actually did walk like an Egyptian uh -huh. at one point in his life, but only because his life was saved. Wait, hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. My bad. Oh, okay, okay. So you want to add a little mystery for the kids. I, I like mystery. it. Mystery. Yes, I actually do. We will get to learn all about Moses in our Bible story in just a bit. Okay. Okay. Please. So with this whole great escape thing, you know, I'm really good at cracking codes and everything. Oh. Oh, but are you actually really? I, I think I am. Okay, well, perfect. Because to unlock what our lesson is and what our Bible verse is, we have to crack a code. Are you serious? 100% serious. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so, uh, what is it? We have a little, like a code. A cryptex? We have a cryptex? That's a very fancy word. That's right? awesome. We do have a cryptex. I'm going to go grab it real quick. It's on the set. Okay, find it. let's find it. Where's that cryptex? It's like circular with a bunch of letters. Oh, it's right over here. Perfect. We <laughs> found it really easy. I don't think it was hidden. But this that's is awesome. awesome. Yes, okay. This is awesome. But first, we have to actually get some things to help us crack the code. Yeah. We yeah. have to know what we're doing here. So well, first, letters. I have something. Hold on, I'm grab it. It's a magnifying glass. Perfect. You, everyone needs one of these in their Most life. Most definitely. We will need this, but we okay. also need the code that is to be cracked. And our friend Ty Ooh. is going to bring it to us, but we have to call him out. So can you guys help us? Call Ty out? You know what to do. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh Ty! Ty! Come on out with the wall. Oh, <laughs> he just barged it up there. Excuse Thank me, you, Ty. Sir. Ooh. Whoa. You Thank are you, on sir. a mission today. You he are is. on a mission. Hello. He's ready to crack codes. Are you ready to crack some codes, kids? Do you know the answer to the code? Yes? Ooh. You do? Well, we have to figure it out. Yes. Uh, Keep it secret. Keep it safe. All right. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Uh, Bye Ty. Okay. So helpful. Okay. Now, there is a code on here. It's going to be revealed to you in just a second. Here we go. Ready. Let us reveal the code we must crack. Here it is. It is on the... Oh, it's coming on the screen. I think it's happening. I think it's happening. I think it's there. Revealed. It's revealed. Okay. Yeah. Now, we get to see it revealed to us. Yes. Ah, uh, so what we must do, kids, is there is a code that we must crack there on the screen. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you what we're seeing here, and you are trying to try to find the letters that match up with this hieroglyphic code. Ooh, ancient Egyptian mm, And language. I'm assuming that the answer here is what is going to open... The cryptex. The cryptex, which is such a fancy word. I like that. Okay, are you ready? So, let's go ahead and start looking. Oh, wait, I need a pen. Let me see. Right. Hold on. Wait. How do we forget a pen? How That's vital. the answer. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's put the first one. Okay, we have like a bird flying. Right. It's in air. Caca! Can you make the bird sound? Caca! Caca! Oh, he's an injured bird. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I found the injured bird. You found an injured bird. Okay, let's go with. Let's go with H, because that's the first I, one this yeah, year. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. H. H, H. okay. Grind it in there, good. Okay, H. next one. Okay, okay I gotta get the one. Okay, put the H. Okay, okay. and we've got it in. H. Locked okay. in, locked now, in. Now, we have like a little cup. I don't know, it's like a cup. Like a bowl? Like a, like, yeah, like, like a, a, like a little. Like a tiny bowl with a little handle. A tiny bowl with a little handle. There we go. And, oh, wait, I found it. Okay, what is it? It's E. Oh, perfect. Did you find it? Ooh, I like that. I like that. Probably like, I found it like five minutes. H E. So cool. Okay, H E. Okay, we're good. Okay, let's Next. keep looking. This weird we knife. Got, like, it looks like a boat with a giant boat. Oh, that does kind of look like a boat. Yeah, like a I boat. Think it's a with wind. Oh. Ah, I found the wind boat. <gasps> oh. Perfect. Okay. Okay, we've got three. This looks like two machetes. Two machetes. Two Egyptians. <laughs> How do you say that? Nacho. <laughs> How do you say 
Let me borrow some Swiss. I found one. Okay, it's not, the, it's not you. Oh, I found the double machetes. There it is. Perfect. P. Got it. And it's okay. locked Hold in. Hold on. So you can thing here. That's a, another little bowl. Another bowl. Oh, Matches. Yeah. So we have a, another E. <gasps> Oh, okay. Cool, perfect. And then we got like a, a Loch Ness snail outside of the shell. Thing. It's weird. A snail snake thing. Snail Where snake. Go, da, 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 da. Snail snake. He's good eyes. You're really good at you. You weren't joking. Right? You were serious, man. I love Captain Cold. Okay, cold. as we can see here. Okay, did you enter it? Okay, it's It is the word in. helper. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Way to go, helper. Are you ready to do this? Okay. Go. Okay. Oh, it worked! So awesome. Let's that see. That is like the the cryptex. The cryptex has cryptex. been opened. Okay, let's open okay. it. Let me see it. Okay. <gasps> okay. What does it say? It has our Bible verse in it, and it also has our point of the day, which is making sense with the word helper. It is God sends us help. Wow, I, awesome. I like that. God I do too. God is our helper. And our Bible verse is found in the book of Genesis, cool. chapter 28, verse 15. And I'm gonna read it to you right now. Because I'm excited. Up. Here we go. It is Genesis 2015. Listen up. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. And I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Yeah, that's awesome. That is God making a promise that's awesome. to the Israelites. Do you hear me? He's going to break them free. So, Pastor Emilio, yes, I know it sounds cool to hear me read the verse, but I would like to hear them repeat it. I think so you. too. Could you do the honors? All right, our kids, let's get loud. Let's be proud about Love. reading God's word. Are you, you ready? Can do some moves to kind of help you out here. Repeat after me. Hmm. I am with you and will watch over you hmm. wherever you go. Hmm. Hmm. And I will bring you back oh. bring it in. to this land. This. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Genesis 18, 15. That's not the verse, it's Genesis 28. 28, 15. That's okay, it's okay. Don't Darn it, I got so excited. Darn. It's okay, I get excited too when I read Bible verse. 18, but 15, 28, 15, this 28. verse is such a great reminder of God's heart and love for us. And as we saw, our code for the day was helper, and we know that God is our helper. Right, because God is our helper, and he also sends people to help us. Ooh. Oh, he truly does. And we are going to see that in action through our Bible story. And how excited I am to see how Moses' story starts out. Oh, me too. So, let's take a look, shall we? Are you ready to take a look at the Bible story? Mm. Let's do it. Let's watch the Bible story. Hey, all kids, Pastor Taylor here, and I have the incredible privilege of revealing the journey of God's people's great escape. And as you know, our story revolves around a great man named Moses, but we've got to take it back. Way, 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 way back. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Oh, okay, not, not that far back, but, but to wee little baby Moses. See, every story has its origins, and ours originates in the Nile River. God's people were oppressed, though blessed by God and multiplying, spreading throughout Egypt, their power grew more and more each day. But that scared the Pharaoh. A harsh king, large and in charge of the Hebrew men and women, forced into back-breaking labor to work until the sun went down, and then even more. Yet, despite his efforts to brutally stop God's people, the Israelites never gave in growing bigger in number and stronger by the minute. And that is when Pharaoh had an idea. He ordered his Hebrew midwives, the people who helped Pharaoh's family with their babies and whatnot, to help the Israelite women as they gave birth. And he said, if the baby's a boy, kill him. If it's a girl, let her live. Harsh, right? Yeah, Pharaoh, not a good dude. But this is where I love our origin story because we'll see that God already had his people in place to ignore this decree and go forward with his plans. These women, they were obedient to God, not Pharaoh, and allowed the boys to live too. So guess what God did? He blessed them. And you guessed it, they continued to grow, they continued to multiply and get stronger and stronger. And that is where Moses comes in. But right before he was born, the upset and fed up Pharaoh gave an ugly order to have every boy from God's people tossed into the crocodile infested Nile River. Again, 
not a good guy, okay? But we're not ill kids because God had it all taken care of. Moses' mom was able to actually hide Moses from the Egyptians and keep him safe. But I don't know about you guys, have ever been around babies before? They're super noisy, okay? Not exactly the easiest thing to hide. So props to Moses' family for keeping him hidden even that long. As we'll find out, God was watching over Moses and one day his mother had to trust that the Lord was doing just that. She made a basket of papyrus and hid Moses in it along the bank of the Nile River and Miriam, Moses' big sister, watched from a distance to see what would happen. Can you imagine how nervous she would have been? Man, that took so much faith from Moses' family. But it gets better, believe it or not, Moses is found down in the river by none other than Pharaoh's own daughter. Yeah, the princess herself went down to check out what was floating in this basket and feels so bad when she opens it up to find cry little Moses. Oh. But then Moses' sister approaches the princess and offers to find someone to take care of the little guy. And unknown to the princess, grabs Moses' mother to help care for him. So. Now, Moses' mother no longer has to hide him, and the princess offered to pay her to do what she was already doing. How cool is that? Moses got to be raised as royalty, and God was able to use his sister, his mom, and Pharaoh's daughter to help not only save Moses' life, but put him in the king's family, which is exactly where he needed to be to pull off the greatest escape of all time. So think about this. How has God used someone to help, protect, care, or maybe even save you? Maybe just like Moses, his sister, you've allowed God to use you in amazing ways to help the people around you. See, God can use us in countless ways to help others, through prayer, sharing the gospel, or even just being a good friend. All we have to do is be obedient to his word and let him. That's all the time I have today, L kids. so we will catch you next time. <laughs> Moses, we are going to be playing ba -ja -ja -ja. as babies, because babies need help, right? That's right. right. We're going to be doing a Can We Guess It Baby Food Edition. We need papas. The baby need papas. <laughs> sure. Let's uh, get started and bring out our very first item, but we have to guess what it is. We're going to be fed baby mm. food. It's so exciting. Comida <laughs> in my mouth. So let's bring out the first baby food, and it's going to come, come in. Come. Airplane style, here it comes. Oh. <laughs> no, oh, okay, okay. Okay, let's go. What I is it? it? Did you swallow it? Yeah, I swallowed it. Okay, uh, I have no name. I'd say spinach. Hold on. It's, uh, it's, 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 spinach with banana had banana and mm. greens. Banana, Sp greens, kale, and, spinach, and, and, and grapes. I said kale, banana. spinach, and grapes. You yeah. What? <laughs> what was it? What was it? Whoa! Way to go! You're a smart baby. I was We're pretty close. So proud of you. That's right. Kale, spinach, and pears. Pears. I didn't That's taste any of that. Was. I tasted garbage. Baby garbage. That green stuff so, is but, Okay, I hope your parents don't feed you that. So now here comes the second food item, and I hope the spoonful is as big as it was last time. Come feeder. It's coming in. Oh, oh, oh. That is the biggest bite of <laughs> the No! That's disgusting! Mm. That's disgusting! 
Ah! 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 Look away! Ah! Ah! Look away, children! This isn't for you! That was so much big. That's Geidel, disgusting. Guy don't jar just now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's so much. It's all in my mouth. Oh, I'm sorry. I pulled the Hannah. I spit that I stuff out. I swallowed the last of it. Nope. I don't want it. I don't want it. Okay. Okay. It's time to guess the baby Ugh. business. Are Better you ready? Business. On three, two. One, is it pears and spinach? Bananas and pears and, and, and something and pineapple. gross. pineapple. Oh, and pineapple. dates? Apples. And girls Apples. Stuff. It was so, so okay. Uh, apricots. We, we've been told we are wrong, sad. Wee. Blueberries, that's a lie, Steven. If a you lie. guys try to give you blueberries, don't do it. Don't eat it, babies. Don't do it. You don't. run away from the blueberries. Lies, I say. But now it's time to take a little break, and we'll be back for another baby. <laughs> I'm a big boy. Right. No more food. We'll catch you back in just a minute. No more food. So help us, babies. Oh. Leave us here. Leave us. Please. Hey, all kids. Fabian here, and today we're going to be talking all about how God sends people to help me. The great escape of the Israelites out of Egypt is an incredible story. The Great Escape is filled with hardships, deliverance, miracles, and wonder. With all good stories, there's always a beginning. In our story time, we started in the beginning and saw how God sent Miriam and the Pharaoh's daughter to help Moses escape death. God had a big plan for Moses and he protected him. Miriam, Moses' sister, was used by God to protect him and help raise him as a servant to the Pharaoh's daughter. How amazing is God? Moses not only lived and escaped death, but his sister and mom were paid to take care of him and raise him. He even became royalty. There's something very important we can learn from this part of the story, and that is that God sends people to help us. Have you ever had somebody help you, protect you, save or care for you? How'd that make you feel? I bet really good, right? Or have you ever been there for someone when they were in need? See, you don't need to save someone's life to help them. You can always help in many ways. For example, being a good friend, sharing Jesus with somebody, comforting them through a hard time and praying for somebody. God sends people into our lives to help us and we can return that in others. I wanna share a great verse with you and that is found in Psalms 28, seven. It says, the Lord is my strength, my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I praise him. This verse is such a great reminder that God is our strength, protector, and that he helps us when we are in need. We just have to trust in him and the great plans he has for our life. Well, that's it for me, El kids. We'll see you next time. Oh, well, nap time's <gasps> over, y'all. <laughs> and somebody has a stinky diaper. The nightmare continues. <laughs> That's right. It's time for our final no. baby food, and it's no. one to no. zero. You've won. Hey, good for hey, you. High, five. high five, high five. There Give we go. High there we go. High Wait. five. Hey, five. There we go. Oh yes. Video. Okay. Okay. Now, <laughs> what's oh, our no, baby please. food? Okay, please. let's bring bring it in with probably the biggest spoonful of baby food ever. Come on. So big. That's an adult spoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's an adult spoon. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. That was horrible. I know it's all over me, but I'm a baby. That's okay. No shame here. Look away, children. Don't shame the baby. Not a bright moment for me. No shaming me. I need a wet wipe. Give me a wet wipe. I don't want to. I know what this is. Garbage. You ready to guess? No. <laughs> I'm ready. It's inside of me. <coughs> it's in me. <coughs> so. All right. <coughs> <coughs> I don't guess. Count us down. Three, two, one. Vomit. Chicken and rice. <laughs> Just go. That's chicken and rice. Yeah! <laughs>
That was disgusting. We're both the victor. We're both the victor. Oh my gosh, that's good. I'm so That was horrible. Please let this nightmare end. Okay, well, it's two to zero. Which that's means? right. Ooh, ooh, I'm ooh, trying ooh. to process it. Oh god, tears do do do. So do do do. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. I'm I'm shadow boxing. Okay. My baby shadow boxing. Like vanilla baby fight. Way to go. You're the go. victor. Yes. You're High five. I High five. I need a wet wipe. I will have to say, best advice, babies out there, watch out. Oh. Watch out. You listen oh. to me. They're going to try to feed you that baby food, oh. and you fight them. Mm. You, Tooth you and fight nail. back. You escape. Tooth and Don't nail. Don't let them make you think they're helping you by feeding no. you nutritious food. They're lies. It's a lie. Lies. It's a lie. Lies. But you are the winner of the top banana that's not Thank here, you. but that's okay. You're that's the winner. Okay. Do the baby dance. Baby Go. Dance. Do the baby, baby dance, dance and you win. And so that's baby it, guys, for game time. Us babies, we'll catch you back in just a minute. That's we're right. We're going to keep going with that baby dime. We're going to go and do, do, do. We'll catch you back in just a All right, boys and girls, it is now time for a quiz. Today we are focusing on the life of Moses and how God is our helper. Are you ready to put your brain to work with a tricky question? Let's find out. Here we go. In our Bible story, who found Moses in the river? Was it A, a servant? B, Miriam, Moses' sister? C, the Pharaoh's daughter? Or D, an Egyptian guard? You have five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Do you have your guests locked in? If you answered B, Miriam, Moses' sister, well, that's incorrect. But she did help raise him. But if you answered C, the Pharaoh's daughter, that is the correct answer. And as the story goes, Moses was put in a basket by his mother and sent down the river in hopes that he would be saved. God sent the Pharaoh's daughter and she found Moses, took him in and raised him as an Egyptian and as her own. God helped keep Moses safe from harm and death and wants to help us in our own lives as well. We just have to trust in him and his great power. Well, L kids, that's all for today. Thanks for joining me at Quiz Time. Well, today was a really fun day learning all about how God sends people to help us. Yeah, that's right. It was a fun day, even though we ate baby food, which is disgusting because it's for babies, not for big people. Okay, don't be a big old baby about it, but yeah, I agree. That was disgusting. It's a no for me. <laughs> right. Oh, Never. But we did get to see how baby Moses got saved and how cool it was to see how God protected him even though he went down that river and ended up safe with the princess. Yes, I know. And even more amazing was that Moses' mom and sister Miriam ended up getting paid to care for him. Like, how cool is that? Right? Because God had a master plan for Moses all along. And he made sure that his escape was going to be successful. That's right. It was all because of God. God not only helped, but used people like the princess and Moses' mom and his sister. It was pretty awesome. Well, but, and you know, Moses' mom had to put all of her trust in God oh. as she put her her son in that basket. That must have been really hard for her. I know, I can't even imagine. She really did put all her trust that God would help Moses and God did. And you see, the thing that we can learn is that God wants to help us yes. and he sends others to help us as well. He truly really does. See, God sent his perfect son Jesus to help us and save the entire world from sin and death. Because from the beginning of time, sin entered the world and it separated us from God. But he loved us so much, he didn't want to be apart from us. So he sent Jesus to die on the cross and raise him to life three days later. Ooh, and when Jesus did this, he made a way for us to be forgiven of our sin and have eternal life in heaven. That's right. And we all need help in this way. And we all need Jesus. We do. So right now, if you're out there and you want to receive both help from God and salvation through Jesus, mm -hmm. we want to pray with you. Well, but maybe you've already accepted Jesus, but are really seeking God's help in your life. And we want to pray for you as well. So let's all bow our heads and close our eyes. And if you want to join us in that prayer, we want you to lift your hand on the count of three. Are you ready? Yeah. One two, three. 
Look at that. Wow. A lot of you need help out there. Me, well, me we too. all do too. Me too. That's <laughs> like, right. Yeah. Really need help. I'm part of that. So let's go ahead and pray. So keep your eyes closed and bow your head. Here we go. Repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I love you and I thank you for sending your perfect son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for me. I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth, you are my Lord. I ask you to forgive me of all my sin. And I thank you for sending me help when I need it. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen. amen. There we go. But wow. we wanna do another prayer and Pastor Emilio is gonna do this. So I'll give your attention over to him. That's right. So if everyone would please lift their hands because this is gonna be a prayer of surrender, yes. asking God to help us in what we struggle with and also the strength to help others. Yes. So bow your heads, close your eyes, let's put our hands in the air and let's pray. Father God, I pray that you give me the strength to confront what I struggle with. But Lord, I ask you to give me the ability to help those around me. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Oh my gosh. Man, that was awesome. You gotta do the handshake. The handshake, there we go. Boom, boom, and. That was for you. We are so happy for you and the decision that you made today. Exactly, wow. kids. Way to go. God's help is on the way. It truly is. Well, I am really looking forward to see what happens next in Moses' story. Same here. Well, that's it for us, all kids. We'll see you next time. That's right. We should actually walk like an Egyptian. Come I on think out so. of here. Are you ready? I gotta go. I gotta go this way. Wait, go that way? Oh, I like yeah. that. that way. Go that way. We'll see you guys later.